Welcome back to part four of setting up Twitter for business. In this video, we'll go over lists, moments, and widgets. Let's get started. First, click on moments on the top left corner of the page. Moments are curated stories showcasing the very best of what's happening on Twitter. Moments give you the same sharing and engagement options as any other tweet. You can create your own moment by clicking on the button on the right corner of the page. Under More, you'll find settings for your moment, like choosing a mobile theme color. Next, simply title your moment, add a description, and a cover photo. When you're done, you have the option to publish immediately or finish later. When you go to your profile, you will see that a moment has been added to it. Next, let's click on Lists, which are located next to Moments. You can either be subscribed to other people's lists or be a member. When you click on a list, you will see tweets of all the members in it and be able to interact with them. Lists help you organize and filter through all the information that you might find of interest on Twitter, as opposed to just browsing through everything on your timeline. On the bottom left-hand box, you'll see more of your lists and be able to click on them. Now, let's go back to the main lists page and click on Create New Lists. Name your list, add a description, select the privacy of the list, and save it. Once you've done that, it's time to find and add people to your new list. There's no need to add people right away since you can add anyone to any of your lists at any time from almost anywhere on Twitter. Next, let's take a look at widgets, which you'll find under Settings. You can create a widget of your profile, your likes, your lists, or collections. Widgets bring your Twitter content into your web page and buttons to encourage your audience to share or follow. Twitter will give you a list of URL samples to choose from. We'll paste our profile's URL and move on to display options. Here, you will choose to display either your timeline or a tweet button. Next, you'll notice a line of code at the bottom. This is what will be pasted onto the HTML section of your site. Depending on which website provider you use, the process will vary slightly. If you're still not sure on whether or not widgets are right for you, Twitter has a great developer document with more info on the uses of widgets. That's it for this video series. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments what you want to learn next. And don't forget to like and subscribe.